application error colon a client dash side exception has occurred parentheses see the browser console for more information parentheses period this exact typed up message occurs for several reasons exceeding the number of pages viewed without being a signed in subscriber to the website because it's usually a news site it could be any site shouldn't it just say you've exceeded the number of views that day yes it should is this a fake error message well it depends on what you mean by real or fake some websites will deliberately create an error in your browser to make it look like there's something wrong because they don't want to admit they're fucking with you but they are fucking with you yes it's a real error message but sometimes it's induced therefore it's really a lie now what else could cause it i went to fortune.com looking up a 2023 december 14th article on something we're not allowed to talk about on YouTube because YouTube will flag us for even saying it. And you're probably wondering, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Yes, I love that meme. So, um Carolyn Barber, I don't think that she's been she's a a killing word yet. Um but what happened? I I'm using a a a copy of Firefox the website isn't compatible with. Again, wouldn't the website just say you need to update your browser? Yeah, that would be intelligent. But then again, it'll also do the same error message when it's not the browser. It's just that you didn't log in or you've looked at too many pages. Overtly telling somebody a fact means that you can't lie about what caused things later. Being vague or just making up bullshit lies means that you narrate what they're allowed to talk about, whether it's vague or specific. you have power over what the response will be including me saying this is a fake message is fortune doing that on purpose yep um a google bot entity on my computer if i tell my uh, web browser to imitate google.com it's actual the search engine it still gives the error message um it can't be a client side exception error message it can't be my browser giving me the error message because because the website would be assumed to communicating with Google that does not use this error message because it doesn't have a client side function because it's a big search engine array it doesn't work that way next is that when you look up the uh, fortune.com url google brings it up and can obviously read it next thing is i can use two levels of google bot emulation one that literally fakes being google i become google for just long enough to get site banned that i didn't do that one but i can through a website google and obviously it didn't have that problem just looking up the page through google if you can read it they have a cache copy but suspiciously uh google uh whose parent company is is alphabet they called it which is guilty of being a multi billion dollar monopoly company that does things like make sure that only their web browser gets preferential treatment and that they sell ads advertising space to people based on not letting their website show up when people look it up until they get their money uh the web browser is able to read it if it had a caged copy but of course fortune paid them not to give a caged copy out No it's not the European Union doing it it's Google just getting money by being told don't put a cache copy of our news page from the 14th because we want people to come to our website There's an overt cacheable copy of fortune.com itself but not the articles That's very specific failure on their part That's a ranged failure So to review at the 4 minute and 40 second mark Odds are you need to use a different web browser or a newer web browser, but most likely on the stand age it's telling you you have to use Chrome because they don't want you to be able to come to their website without it. And yes, I have all my web browsers when there's an error, reload the page faking being Chrome because obviously 
that wouldn't work if <laughs> unless there was some sort of monopoly going on. I mean, what the fuck am I talking about here? But yeah, that's probably what happened. Um, but if you get this error message, in all seriousness, number one, <clears throat> use a newer browser <clears throat> and a different browser. Not that the different browser is important as much as making sure it doesn't think you're the same browser because over half the time it's just faking this error message by feeding your 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 web browser a broken page on purpose so it can put up an error message. This is done very commonly. This this has been around forever. Uh, Microsoft Corporation was found through finding a fact to deliberately screw over your users of a competing version of DOS at one time by not letting Windows 3.1 or whatever it was install unless you had the right kind of operating system. Windows at one time was just a window manager and a, a program launcher and a file manager. It was never meant to be an entire operating system because it had to sit on top of some form of DOS. And screwing over IBM DOS, Digital Research DOS, and several other DOS alikes was and a competitive behavior and a criminal act, and they're found guilty of it. And you may have noticed that Microsoft Corporation really wasn't punished enough to make them ever stop doing it. See also what they do today. Google is doing the same thing. And so are all these websites faking these error messages. But if it's, you know, if it doesn't overtly say, we want you to use the newest browser and you want, we want you to turn on tracking. And as Google, as you've seen YouTube aggressively do, we need you to make sure you don't block any of our ads or we're going to literally screw with you and try to break your computer over the internet. But that's not aggressive behavior. I'm not supposed to respond to it. Okay, enough, you know, proselytizing from, um, you know, a soapbox sinking into the ocean. It's a fake application error about half the time. The rest of the time, it's just get a newer browser or get, you know, the right browser, which would be Chrome. Because the company probably is in bed with Google, but who knows? Uh, if you go to any Apple-oriented website, it'll demand that you use whatever they want you to use. But saying so may put them in liability mode, so they just fake an error message and tell you to go figure it out. That That's totally functional. And yes, if you're not aware of it, the only time I see anybody explaining this properly was people complaining about this being a complete violation of all the World Web Consortium rules, period, full stop. The next thing is, you might be tempted to remember in the past, warning, this website has an error. Please contact the person running the website and tell them you need them to fix the website. Now, in the old days, people sometimes would actually pay attention. That has never worked in my personal experience. But in the old days, I, I heard a couple of people say, yeah, I contacted the administrator and they fixed the page. I've never heard of a website having this kind of problem where it was really anything they ever gave a damn about fixing. And this seems to be another example of it. But again, it's claiming client site, meaning your web browser and your computer, had an exception, and that's an application error between the website and you because now we're treating web pages as programs. And then you're supposed to, in most cases, hit F12 or some other button, look through the browser console, and see if you can get information out of it, which, by the way, wasn't there. Meanwhile, underneath this faked error message, yes, it was fake in this case, was a copy of the web page just refusing to load. It has a default. If it isn't the right browser, whatever browser they want, it might be Chrome, might be something else, it will refuse to vend the page. It will substitute all the HTML and throw up this error message. And the substitution behavior is part of how websites work when they're money-oriented. You have to have a free subscription or a paid subscription, and that's what the website emphasizes. And again, if I go there with uh, a really weird version of Firefox, uh, I'm, uh, Pale Moon, for instance, um, it loads fine. There's no problem there. It's just, you know. Uh, but again, use a different browser and or a newer browser, preferably both. And or just load up Chrome because that's really what's the undercurrent explanation. And yeah, it's their web way of saying we're not going to tell you that it's that because they won't say so. And also it might be just that they're faking the error message because you're not giving them money or having a free sign-up account or whatever. It's rarely, if ever, a real error anymore. Any large company like 
Fortune.com is a multi-million dollar company. They can just maintain a website and not have this error message happen. There's no reason to do this. Except it makes them money because it forces you to get the least tested and least reliable browser on the market, whatever is the latest thing, and run it because they can do more exploits and break into your computer or not. Or just track you, or just show more ads to you, or all of the above, or maybe none. Thank you for listening to my rant. And thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I wish all of you luck with this.